Warhammer 40,000 Battle Report. It's Challenge the Scorpion. It's 1850 points, and it is Space Wolves against Necrons. A classic game, this one. It's a game we've been looking forward to. Uh, wondering when Space Wolves will turn up. They're now here, and they'll be taking on uh, one of their most hated foes, the Necrons. So they'll be fighting on this uh, city terrain here. Uh, a nice backdrop for this scenario. So we're going to go and look at the forces now uh, in this clash. Right, welcome to this 1850 point Challenger Scorpion game. It's Necrons against Space Wolves. Just going to run through the Necron list here. So in command is a Necron Overlord. He's in the uh, Catacomb Command Barge. He's got Flactory, so that's, it will not die. And the Phase Shift, a 4 plus Invite Save, and a War Scythe. Then a Heavy Support, one Necron Monolith. And then a Ghost Stark, and inside there's 10 Necron Warriors. Then a Knight Scythe with twin linked Tesla Destructors and uh, a Stedicate Transport for five Lich Guard. And they've got Hyperphase Swords and Dispersion Shields. One Cryptek as well for the Necrons. Then a uh, unit of 14 Necron Warriors. Then one Heavy Support, one Doom Scythe with the dreaded Death Ray. And then the third Heavy Support, one unit of Spiders. And they've got Fabricator Claw Ray, so they'll be able to repair vehicles no problem and two units of scarabs two units of three and then finally a unit of six uh wraiths for the necrons as fast attack choice so that's the necron force just do experimenting with the moment uh, as we're putting the force together it's pretty much there but there may be a couple of units to add on at some point we'll see how well they do against a new foe space wolves Right, so uh, Tristan Whitehead's come along, he's brought his Space Wolf Force here, and he's going to run through what he's got. Okay, 1850 points of Space Wolves. Here we have 15 Blood Claws. Uh, there's two Flamers and there's a Power Weapon in there. Here we have 10 Grey Hunters, led by a Wolf Guard in Terminator armor, with a Combi Plasma and two Plasma Guns. Uh, 10 more Grey Hunters with a Banner and a Power Weapon. Two Melter Guns and a Drop Pod. Uh, another 10 Grey Hunters, led by a Terminator Wolf Guard, Plasma Gun, Flamer, and a Power Sword in there. Here we have Stormwolf Gunship, I put the Melters on. Five Long Fangs, one Laz Cannon and three Missile Launchers. Six Long Fangs, with a Laz Cannon and four Missile Launchers. Next up we have three Thunderwolves, a Power Fist and a Storm Shield, and just two Storm Shields here. And last is Ulrich the Slayer, two Rune Priests, one with a Psychic Hood. Right, so this scenario is the Relic, which has just been placed in the centre there. It's a Space Wolf uh, Relic that the both armies will be after. And deployment is Vanguard Strike, so there's a central line of dice running up the table here. And then on the right-hand side is where the Space Wolves will be deploying. Uh, Tristan's force will be looking out in this direction and then the line of grey dice here marks where the Necrons will deploy. So we're going to deployment now for both of these forces. Right, so deployment for the uh, Necrons and Space Wolves. Necrons here clustering together, it's the usual tactic. Monolith on the right here and then uh, the spiders at the back, Ghost Dark in the middle. 14 Necron warriors occupying uh, the ruin here. Cryptek has joined them. And then just on the left-hand side is the unit of Wraiths looking to move up quick onto the uh, relic and try and claim it as early as possible before the wolf tired advances and snatches it. Uh, then in reserves for the Necrons, one unit of uh, Scarabs. Then the uh, Doom Scythe coming on from reserve as well. And then uh, the Knight Scythe with the five uh, Lich Guard. And then these uh, ten Necron Warriors are inside the Ghost Ark. And then the Army Commander inside the Catacomb Command Bar just coming on from reserve as well. Then uh, deployment for Tristan and his uh, Space Wolves here. The Long Fangs just anchoring the left-hand side. Second unit of Long Fangs occupying the Ruin here. Uh, and then the two units of Grey Hunters clustering together in the centre and each one has been joined by a Rune Priest and then anchoring the right hand side is uh, the Thunderwolf Cavalry. So that's a deployment quite straightforward. Looks like they're planning to make a steady advance on the relics. There will be a clash in the middle as both sides try and rush to capture uh, the objective. So we're going to go on to the first turn of the game. Tristan will go first, unless the Necrons can steal the initiative. I doubt they can do it. They're uh, not really that intelligent. Oh, well, maybe they are. <laughs> They've got a six, so Necrons will be going first. Necron turn one coming up.
movement for the Necrons on turn one. The Wraiths have leapt forwards and are now in base contact with the Relic, jumping up 12 inches. Uh, Necron shuffle along just one inch. And then the Ghost Stark moving up and on top here. Haven't actually rolled for Dangerous Terrain. Don't get a one. Six, that's fine. And then just spinning around to let off a broadside this turn. Uh, the Spider's moving up. Wound taken, uh, but they've bred free uh, scarab bases and they've moved up 12, just hiding behind the end of the ruin there. And then the monolith uh, moving ahead at six inches as well. So that's movement done for the Necrons. Steady progress from them. Uh, Going to go on to shooting now on turn one. Right, turn one shooting for the Necrons. Gone pretty well to start off with. Uh, the monolith firing down uh, has killed three of the long fangs here and uh, they've gone to ground. Uh, and then a broadside from the Ghost Stark firing up and across has killed two of the long fangs in the uh, building. They've passed them around. Uh, one other casualty coming for a snapshot here uh, from the Gore's uh, Flux Arc there. Uh, so a number of the long fangs brought down but they're still holding the ground inside the ruin there. Uh, Necron Warriors couldn't really fire so they've run uh, three inches moving uh, towards the uh, Space Wolves there. So that's shooting done. There's no combat, there's no charges. Uh, so we're going to hand over to Space Wolf turn one coming up. Right movement phase for the Space Wolves on turn one. Drop pods come down, landed exactly where he wanted it to. And uh, the Grey Hunters have disembarked. They've actually got melters here, so the monolith could well be in trouble. And then steady advance here uh, from the Grey Hunters here. Uh, the two packs moving up uh, steadily across the table. Thunderwolf Cavalry tucking in behind the ruin here as well. So we're going to go into shooting phase now for the Space Wolves. Necrons have had their uh, opportunity to fire and now we'll see what the Space Wolves can do in response. Right, it's a psychic phase here. The Necrons have been attacked by the elements. Right, Living Lightning coming down and then uh, Jaws of the World Wolf 1. Uh, Wraith has been destroyed. So it's an interesting experience here, being attacked by the weather. That's the first time uh, we've had that, but that's uh, the way uh, Space Wolves operate. So we're going to go on to uh, shooting phase now for Space Wolves on turn 1. Uh, so, uh, shooting phase now, the Grey Hunter's going to try and take out the Monolith here. It's got two mounters in there, so Tristan will be on freeze to hit. Hits with one, hits with both, and then the, it'll be 2d6 a time. It's the first one, strength eight and nine, that's gone through, and then the second one, that has gone through as well, six and two. So there's nothing we can do to stop it, two rolls. And uh, he's going to add, that's a six result. And then the next one is a five, becomes a seven. The monolith has gone. So it's mission success. The monolith goes up. Uh, an impressive display of firepower. All right, shooting for the space walls on turn one. And Necrons thought we were doing quite well, but uh, it's been a spectacular round here. Uh, the melted gun is coming through, as we saw, destroying the monolith. 
Then uh, fire from the long fangs coming down has destroyed the ghost type, which is a real blow to this Necron. Force a couple of warriors dying there. Uh, then the Great Hunters firing down here. They could see a couple of the wraiths. Uh, we've lost another one. Uh, so there's only four remaining. So that's shooting down. Pretty effective. Very, very effective. Uh, the Necrons uh, losing, really, at this stage, even though they have the relic as far as casualties go. So we're going to go into assaults. The Thunderwolf Cavalry uh, that are here, just under the ruin, are in range. Needing nine inches, we reckon. Uh, we'll get them into combat. They'll ignore the penalty, so we'll let uh, Tristan roll up here. Uh, if he gets nine, then we have a combat on our hands on turn one. Double six. <laughs> this Thunderwolf Cavalry come uh, piling through. It'll be interesting because they're pr quite comparative, the units, with Invan saves um, and uh, rending. So we'll go into this combat here. So To do this combat here, uh, the Wolves of Thunderwolf Cavalry has made it in, and uh, Tristan will go first. He's rolled up Hammer of Wrath here, and he's got strength five, toughness five, there's two wounds. Two wounds straight away on the Wraiths, who are in shock here, but they've passed their saves. So we've gone to attacks, those three will actually get 15 attacks in total. just done 10 attacks there uh, there is a power fist to do last uh, so uh, f five hits and then it's the rending hits coming through here strength five strength five toughness five just two if we pass these we might be able to strike back here pass one reanimation of five plus no so wound dealt out on the wraiths right wraiths fighting back here um, three attacks each that's 12 attacks they only fours that's a very good roll we've got here, just three misses. And then a lot of sixes would be good. There's two. They're at strength six, toughness five, so three saves and two rends. The whole squad's armed with shields, so two uh, invun saves to make, a three plus. Which fouls both there, so that's one of the Thunderwolves removed. Uh, and then three regular saves. And they all pass, so one Thunderwolf Cavalry brought down. Powerfist attacks now. Great thing about this is he gets five. He's got three hits. You'll need twos to wound. Okay, the one upstairs will count. <laughs> three, three invulnerable saves to make here. Pass two. And, and the reanimation. Yes, toughness five, strength eight. Strength 10, no, so we don't make that one, it's a shame. So that is a uh, Wraith brought down. Yeah, we're just saying we've lost two each, it's a draw. Uh, they will continue the fight. We've been kicked off the objective there, I've had to drop it. Uh, the one that was holding it has been killed. It's just as the relic is seized, it's dropped again as the Thunderwolf cavalry arrive just in the nick of time. That's assault stun, we're going to go on to Necron turn two. They're going to need to respond here, they've been decimated by the space tools on turn one. We'll see how they can respond on Necron turn two.
turn two for the Necrons. The relic hangs in the balance here. Uh, it's been dropped. Wraiths are busy dealing with Thunderwolf cavalry, so that melee continues. All our reserves have arrived, which is good. Uh, flyer arriving uh, here and then dropping off the Lich Guard just on uh, this side of the building. Uh, Necron Warriors advancing ahead, trying to get some shots in. One's upstairs as well, just three of those left. Scarabs moving out from the rune, uh, heading towards the drop pod here. And then a uh, new unit of Scarabs arriving. Spiders uh, moving out to try and assault uh, this unit of Grey Hunters. Uh, Catacomb Command Barge arriving here. Try and take on the last of uh, the Long Fang unit here. And then the Doom Scythe arriving. I'm going to try and coordinate some fire against this central unit. Of wolves. We're going to go into the uh, shooting phase now for the Necrons on turn two. Right, shooting phase for the Necrons. A little bit of revenge here. Uh, firing through from the flyers has been effective. The death ray here uh, took out uh, one of the Grey Hunters and the Terminator as well. So that opened up shooting uh, for the rest of the Necrons. Fly coming through here. Necron warriors down below. Uh, squad has been reduced down. Wolf Priest taking a wound as well, and just three of them left. So it's a bit of recovery there from the Necrons. No damage here uh, against the uh, Long Fangs from the Catacomb Command Barge, and uh, this squad still remains at full strength. It's going to go on to Assault. It's got a continuing melee here, and then uh, the Tomb Spiders and the Scarabs trying to charge in and try and equal the balance this game. It's been vicious uh, so far. These two forces got stuck into each other very, very quickly. There's been no holding off, so we're going to go into Assaults now on turn two. Right, so Assaults for the Necrons, they're in here. Uh, the Spiders made it into contact and the Scarabs have reached the drop pods. We'll get these combats resolved, uh, Necrons, as they try and fight to gain the upper hand in this game. Right, Tristan's going to roll up here. Uh, his regular uh, Grey Hunters will go first, and then his, there's a Power Axe to go last. There, a load of attacks, the first 20. So the first 20 there is be uh, another 16 to come for regular attacks. It's a nice lot of hits, uh, freeze to hit. But he'll need sixes for wounds here. It's uh, the one thing that may be able to give us a chance in this combat. So... These are Blood Angel dice, any Blood Angel symbols that come up as sixes. He's got three. Uh, we'll let him roll the other 16. We can build up a total here. There's three saves so far. Next 16 coming in. Freeze to hit. And then six is another one. So we've got four total. Uh, we can roll these up now. Freeze to wound, uh, freeze to save. We've passed three of them. And then reanimation for our formation special rule. We don't get it this time. So another wound dealt out. Not quite enough to bring down uh, one of the team spiders. Right, team spiders. Only fours. Nine attacks here on the charge. Get a good roll here. We could cause havoc. Fours. Half. Just over half of hit. Which is good rolling. Not bad. And then twos for kills. So double one in there. But still three of the grey hunters have been brought down. So now the uh, Power Axe attacks. Four attacks. Gets two hits. And it's strength five. Toughness six. No. Okay. The toughness coming in very helpful there. Uh, for the Tomb Spiders, they win the combat. The Wolves are going to need to make a morale check with minus two to their score. Seven. Do you want it? No, because I just ran away. I'll get away from him. Yeah, run away. Okay. Tristan's decided he's found morale and he's happy with that result. Not going to do the re-roll here. Uh, so it's going to be initiative roll-off. Our initiative is two. It's a fair chance he'll get away. Uh, but on a bad roll, we'll catch him. He gets a one. <laughs> so let's see what we get. No, oh, we get a one as well. <laughs> So he's escaped, the tactic may well pay off here, and a two and a one, so he's just going to uh, fall back three inches here. Tactical withdrawal, uh, that means he'll be able to shoot next turn. So a bit of uh, tactics here, it seems to have paid off. We'll get the other combats resolved. Uh, it's just doing the combats there, we saw that continuing melee. Uh, Tristan has fallen back here a few inches, and the uh, scarabs can, or the uh, tomb spiders can regroup, and then uh, the scarabs charging in here have destroyed the 
uh, drop pod. I'm just going to resolve this combat here in the middle. Uh, four attacks with the Thunder Wolf Cavalry. Two hits. Weapon skill five, are you? Okay. Yes, yeah, so just uh, just one hit there. Uh, weapon skill four against weapon skill four. So he'll be on uh, Ren's here. Strength five. Toughness five. No wounds. So the Wraiths can strike here. Uh, there is three of them left. So it's nine attacks. They'll need fours to hit. That's another pretty good round there coming through. And then strength six, toughness five, and then rending on top of that. They've all wounded, no rends, but five saves uh, to make on them. Three plus. It's fouled two. So two wounds is another wolf brought down. Rafe's uh, getting the upper hand in this combat, but we're going to strike now with uh, power fist attacks. This will be strength 10. Fours to hit. It's got two. And two to wound. He has wounded, and these will be instant death here, so the Rafe's got to be careful. Fouled ones. That is a Rafe brought down. Uh, a reanimation, actually, of a. No, we don't get it this turn. No, there is no reanimation this turn for them. So uh, one Wraith brought down. That is actually a drawn melee. So these are, are going to continue battling out with each other. Uh, it's a real, sort of, a good matchup, an even matchup between these. Uh, and that melee will continue there. It's not bad. Uh, Necrons have done okay. It could have gone better for them. That marks the end of turn two for the Necrons. It's going to go on to turn two now for the Space Wolves. We're just saying here, there's too many space orbs on the table and the monolith is no more. So if ever we needed that pie plate uh, to let down some fire, it's now, but it's long since been destroyed. Yeah, Stormwolf uh, Flyer has come on and uh, Tristan has disembarked with his Blood Claw Squad. Big unit of uh, 15 there. So that's going to be another headache for the Necrons to deal with. It's flooding the area uh, with models here. Uh, the damage squad moving out, uh, moving on to join the combat and then uh, the other squad here coming down and moving across. So this is the centre of the action here. Uh, this is where the battle will be decided. Uh, just falling back here a few inches uh, with the unit from the drop pod. And then uh, long fangs here just maintain their position. They'll lend some fire support here as well. So that, this side of the battlefield, very empty. That's a dead reef. <laughs> doesn't belong on the table. So it's this half of the table where the action is. We're going to go on to the psychic phase now uh, for Tristan's Space Wolves on turn two. Right, so uh, psychic phase here for the Space Wolves. Uh, just Jaws of the World Wolf uh, being cast. Everything else failed or s uh, was blocked. And uh, one of the spiders has gone. So we're going to go on to shooting now uh, for the Space Wolves on turn two. Shooting on turn two. Uh, for the Space Wolves. Uh, pretty effective fire here. A uh, couple of wounds dealt out on the Spiders. Yeah, that's uh, two wounds coming in from Melter Fire from here. Uh, the Flyer's been brought down. Uh, that was the multi melters here from the uh, Stormwolf Flyer. Uh, immobilized result, we rolled a one, crashed over here. Uh, he went to ground and managed to keep his two long fangs alive. But they've gone to ground there under the, uh, the wreck. Then fire from uh, squad here, here, and here coming through, uh, bringing down a number of the Necrons. Uh, Reanimation protocols coming in handy, four plus there with the Cryptek, and that squad holds its ground. So that's shooting done a lot here uh, from. The space was pretty effective. This advancing tide of uh, plasma and bolt of fire. Going to go into assaults. Most units have fired. Uh, we've got this assault here to uh, resolve. Yes, combat phase here. We're just going to resolve this combat. Uh, the Necron Wraiths will go first this time. Uh, Power Fist will go last. So fours. It's extremely good rolling. And then uh, surrendering. Strength six. No, but three wounds. Uh, so three saves, a three plus. There's one wound dealt out there. It's one wound. Here's the response from the uh, power fist here. So it'll be on uh, fours to hit. Two hits. And then uh, twos to wound. Gets two. Pressure on the rafes. They could be wiped out on a bad roll. Two in the saves. Pass. We win the combat. Uh, there'll be a morale check here. 
seven is enough. That melee continues. Both those units locked in combat. Looks like they'll fight to the bitter end. So that's turn two finished. I'm gonna go on to turn three now for the Necrons. the Necrons on turn three. Uh, the spider's moving up here to go in and try and take on this unit for a second time. Scarabs just at the back. Bred another three Scarabs, but they have joined uh, the unit of Scarabs that destroyed the uh, drop pod here. We've got nice and fast, uh, flooding in behind the blood claws here. I'm going to try and go after the uh, Space Wolf fly. They may be able to reach it in combat and try and eliminate that from the game. Then the Catacomb Command Barge on the move here, 12 inches moved up, uh, just hunting the long fangs there. Necron Warriors have moved out, Cryptek with them. Uh, may well try and charge into combat, trying to form a blocking action here uh, as this unstoppable tide of Space Wolves advances. Necron Warriors going to hurl themselves at it because the objective is the Relic, which the Lich Guard are now in base contact with. They've picked it up again. The question is, will they be able to hold it? Uh, and cling on to that objective. A couple of Necron Warriors here uh, moving through. Uh, the Wreck of the Ghost Ark going to provide a bit of fire support. So we're going to go on to shooting now for the Necrons on turn three. Right, so shooting for the Necrons, just a few bits. Uh, firing here with the Catacomb Command Barge, no damage done. And then the Necron Warriors decided to shoot here. Cryptek uh, caused a casualty, and then the Warriors firing as well. So uh, two casualties there. Tristan may need to roll up morale for them. Just going to do a leadership test for them here. Leadership 10, if fine. Uh, fire here from the Necron Warriors, no damage. So a little bit of shooting, but it's going to be uh, assaults and, and combats here that will be key. So, we will charge here with the spiders and then charge here with the scarabs at the Stormwolf Flyer. Just roll up here, it'll be interesting to see if these uh, scarabs make in. We've measured up, reckon five inches. I right, just checking there, the scarabs do have fleet. Uh, so five inches needed. You can re-roll here, oh, double six. <laughs> no need for a re-roll there. So they have uh, made it into contact with the Stormwolf. And then we'll resolve this one, it's some overwatch to do uh, from the Grey Hunters. Right, so assaults here, uh, Necrons piling in. These scarabs with their instinct for metal have <laughs> found the uh, Space Wolf flyer uh, in combat there. And then uh, the Tomb Spiders made into combat. And the Catacomb Command Barge as well is charged in. So a number of combats to resolve. Uh, we'll do this combat here. We'll see if the spiders can uh, take on this unit of Grey Hunters. Uh, Tristan will go first. Interesting combination here, uh, close combat weapon pistol, the banner gives them extra attack, counter attack gives them extra attack, so we're looking, seven guys, 28 attacks. Uh, it's just the toughness really that saves the uh, spiders, but we'll see if Tristan can get through here. Uh, he will need freeze to hit to start off with. Right, so we're going to do 24 attacks here. This is regular hits, there's an axe to do separately uh, that will go last. That's the one that can do the damage. Uh, so we'll be on freeze to hit with these attacks. And then he will need sixes here. There's two, three. Roll those up. We've given ourselves reanimation protocols, three plus. We've fouled two. This is not good. One spider looks like it's going to go. Yeah, so already on uh, two wounds, so one spider has gone. That could well do it. Three attacks here on the charge in response. Triple six for hits. 
Two's to wound. Yes, three wolves brought down. That's a nasty response from that spider. Tristan says he doesn't like them. <laughs> They're a nasty unit. But a strike back here with the axe. Four attacks. He gets four hits. Very good. And one wound. A five plus feel no pain. They, he gets it. That spider survives. So just four of them left. Uh, they lose the combat by two. Yep. Right, so combat results there. Uh, the Space Wolves lose the combat, but uh, their marine training kicking in. They'll continue on. Uh, the number's depleted, but both ready fighting each other uh, and causing damage as they're locked in combat. So resolve the other combats here. It's a good result there for the Necrons, but not really too significant as far as the main objective goes. We'll resolve these other combats here. The key part of the game is this zone here, and it's here really where the ne Necrons don't have the upper hand. Right, so combat results here for the Necrons. It's gone pretty well. Uh, the Storm Wolf has, was easily brought down there by the uh, Scarabs. And then here, finally, the Wraiths uh, finished off the last of the Thunder Wolf Cavalry. They've consolidated just an inch. And then coming down, uh, just killed on Hammer of Rough Hits. Uh, the chariot destroyed the uh, long fangs and then here uh, we saw that continuing melee going on there so pretty good for the necrons still this is the key area as we mentioned earlier uh, what Tristan decides to do with these units one unit here big unit second big unit and the remainder uh, of the of a unit there. So it's all going to pivot around this area. Can the relic be seized? We'll have to see. It's being guarded at the moment by a bunch of Lich Guard. Right, so moving for the Space Wolves on turn three. Uh, combat continues here. Then the uh, Blood Claws pack moving up here. Big unit, that one. Uh, then uh, the small unit just moving through the gap here. They're behind. A couple of them there. And the Grey Hunters unit here, rolling well for their difficult terrain, uh, moving through. They'll be able to fight and possibly charge if Tristan wants to try and reach the Lich Guard. At the moment they're holding uh, the Relic, but so far it hasn't moved an inch. So it's, uh, it's in jeopardy there as far as the Necrons are concerned. So that's pretty much it. Uh, both armies are suffering heavy losses here. Uh, we're going to go on to the Psychic phase now for the Space Wolves on turn three. Right, so psychic phase here, not much going on really, just a number of t uh, tests failed. Um, just the jaws, uh, one was cast, but we uh, passed our initiative test there, so no damage done. We're going to go on to shooting now for the space walls. Right, Lich Guard here, uh, just have to report on them. Number of hits coming through, failed. Uh, two saves, but then uh, reanimation five plus, they got back up, they laughed that off, and then crack missile shots coming through. Uh, all their invun saves past three of them, so they're not going anywhere. They're a nice tough unit to have in the force, they're doing well, and they're holding on to the relic here. They look set to drag it off into the crypts. Necron seems to be good at laying hold of these relics here. Uh, Blood Claws firing ahead uh, with flamers and pistols have reduced the wraiths down, though only one left on one wound, not much left of that unit at all. That's all the shooting done. Uh, it's just boiling down to a couple of units here. These really, uh, what's happening here is sort of a side show. And also at the back, it's this area here as we contest for the relic. Number of assaults, Blood Claw's going to try and uh, charge through. And the Grey Hunter's going to try and burst through the windows here against the Lich Guy. We may have a showdown. I'll roll these up now. Right, there's a number of foul charges here. We've, we've already rolled them up. Blood Claw's failed to get in. They rolled three. And then here, uh, six inches, but then minus two, uh, Tristan rolled a four. So the Lich Guard have escaped charge range uh, this turn. Just a little unit here that we forgot about. They tried charging through, rolled a four, needing a five. So no contact made by the Space Wolves in this turn. That gives the Necrons an opportunity now. We're going to head on to Necron, turn four. See if they can drag this relic away and shield it as it's moved away from the advancing Space Wolf force. We're going to go on to turn four. You're on Akron turn four, uh, the Night Sive's turned up and he's heading this way to lend some fire support. Lich Guard have been able to move now, taking the relic with them, moving back five inches through cover. Necron Warrior's going to hold their ground up here. 
Scarabs are bred in other base. Uh, you're allowed to even know you're in combat. Uh, moving off 12 inches with the scarabs here, just to try and lock down this little unit that could cause trouble. Necron Warriors making a screen here with the Cryptek, blocking off the windows and the entrance in this direction. Uh, Necron Overlord coming in from behind, and then the scarabs look set to flood the last of the long fangs there. So going to go on to shooting phase, so the Necron's now on turn 4. Right, Necron turn 4 shooting, uh, just a couple of casualties dealt out on the Blood Claws, uh, other than that no damage done. So, going to go on to Assaults now, uh, for the Necron, it's a couple of small units charging in, I'm uh, going to try and tie up this little unit that's just here. So Assaults coming up for the Necrons. Right, so Assaults here for the Necrons, they've all gone in, uh, the little scarabs uh, here have charged into the Long Fangs, uh, Necron Overlord, in the Catacomb Command Bar just made it into combat there, and then Scarabs and the Wraith, Lone Wraith has made it into contact uh, with the small unit of Grey Hunters there. So we get these combats resolved, and whilst all this fighting is going on, the Lich Guard quietly sneak away with the Relic. Right, combat's here. Uh, it's gone well for the Necrons apart from one combat, we'll come back to that in a second. Um, <laughs> Right, uh, Team Spider did well, killed two of the Grey Hunters. That melee continues, took one wound in return. Uh, Scarabs have done particularly well, uh, destroying all of the uh, Grey Hunters there. And then up on the building, the last of the Long Fangs uh, have gone as well. So that's a good performance from them. But the Necron Overlord in the Catacomb Command Barge, a bit overrated, really not as good as he used to be, has been killed by massed chainsword and bolt pistol hits from uh, the Blood Claws there. He is dead. It's a unit killed and a victory point there for Tristan. So that's combat is done. It's a bit of a blow to the Necrons there. It's a bit silly charging him in. Uh, he's not as good as he used to be. Uh, so that has cost us the Warlord there. So Tristan has two very strong units left to move now. I'm going to go on to turn four for the Space Walks. Right, so movement for the Space Wolves on turn 4. Pivotal point in the game here. Necron screen has worked quite well. The Blood Claws are uh, just they're facing off against the Necron machines here, <laughs> waiting to charge in. And then couldn't move through here with the Grey Hunters blocked off by the Necron Warriors, but have gone through the door here at the side. And there is a chance, if they roll really well, they could reach the Lich Guard in combat. Uh, they may want to clear the Wraith out of the way first, but we'll see what they do. Right, shooting phase for the Space Wolves. Pretty impressive. Wraith's gone. Firing down here to Lich Guard gone as well. And then the Necron Warriors wiped out just the Cryptek left. And soon to be charged by the uh, crazy Blood Claws down there. So good shooting. Very impressive indeed uh, from the Space Wolves. But is it enough? The uh, Lich Guard still clinging on to the obje objective, dragging it off into the crypts. So we're going to go into assaults now. Blood Claws are going to try and charge. And the Grey Hunters, no, they rapid fired, causing casualties. So just one charge here. Reckon they need a f six. No cover. They, we reckon they're in. They must be in six inches. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Close. It's tight. Yeah, they've made it in. Right, so assaults here. Uh, they've made it into combat. We'll resolve this one and this one. Uh, so uh, combat's here. The... Uh, Crazy Claws, what are they called? Crazy Claws. Crazy Claws. Crazy Claws. Crazy Claws, I don't know. What? Blood Claws. Blood Claws. Right, so Blood Claws are made into combat. We'll resolve this one. And then the ongoing combat here. The last wolf against the last spider. Right, okay. People want to know what's going on here. We'll do the final showdown. Uh, the spider goes first. Two attacks. <laughs> Fast. <laughs> right, okay, so <laughs> the lone wolf striking back with the axe here. One hit, one hit's enough. Five or six? No, it's a standoff. A standoff. Right, so combat's uh, resolved here. The Cryptex long gone, uh, smashed to pieces by Ulrich the Slayer. Uh, and he's just consolidated an inch. So Lich Guard have the relic, but those space walls are dangerously close and the screen is gone. So we're going to go on to Necron turn five. We'll see if they can keep the relic and try and stop these two rampaging units. Pretty much those two left and then a lone Space Wolf down here. So there has been carnage on the battlefield today. We'll see if the Necrons can retain the relic and achieve victory. Necron, turn five coming up.
right, moving phase for the Necrons, just trying to keep away from uh, these two packs of wolves as they hunt the relic. The Lich Guard have backed off, six inches rolling up for difficult terrain. So they're in there. Uh, the small unit of Necron Warriors is, is uh, falling back behind with them as well. And we're going to leave it to the Scarabs to try and hold up this unit of Blood Claws. They've actually moved from here, gone 12 around into the building, are set to charge out of the ruin at the Blood Claws. And then moving down from the ruin here, the larger unit of Scarabs moving across. They'll need a pretty good roll. They have got fleet and they'll ignore cover. Um, so a decent roll will get them in. Ongoing melee there. It's just going to go into shooting now. Just looking at the table, there is no shooting. So we're going to go straight into combat here for the Necrons on turn 5. Yeah, it's got the assaults here. Uh, the Scarabs are going to try and charge through. Uh, Tristan's going to fire at this unit of Scarabs. So he's going to fire his flamers and snapshots now. Right, so Overwatch here. Uh, one base kill. That was uh, the two flamers there doing the damage. Uh, so we're charging with this unit here to see that any old roll will do for them. Six is fine. And then this uh, squad of scarabs can need a good roll, but we get fleet here. Nine will do it, ignoring cover. Uh, nine was what we needed, and nine is what we got. So scarabs piling in, in their millions. Right, so the scarabs are in. We'll resolve this combat. There's a lot of little bugs around. We'll see how well the space wolves do at destroying them. Right, let's do this combat here. Uh, the spider has a chance. Two hits. The wolf guy is dead. Yes, he's long gone. So we'll consolidate there. Final victory. It's taken all game to do it. And she'll consolidate six inches. Right, it's a bit of space wolf pest control here. The uh, scarabs have been decimated. Uh, not a single wound caused and losing loads and loads of bases, but they have done their job. They're fearless and they will keep the combat going. And that is the key. So uh, the blood claws surrounding the last of the bugs here, um, no doubt they'll just stamp on those on the next turn. Right, so combat is done. The melee continues. We're going to go on to turn five for the space wolves. Can they catch the rake that has disappeared now uh, into the ruin here? There's a bit of a chasing going on, a bit of bug stamping. Uh, we'll see what happens. Right, so movement for the space wolves on turn five. Not much. So one unit locked in combat. A uh, unit here destroyed. So just uh, this unit of great hunters. They've moved out and across. And uh, we've checked here. They do have an angle to fire through the windows at the Lich Guard. So danger here from uh, potential fire coming through. It's going to go on. Uh, we'll let Tristan shoot. See how much damage he can cause. Right, so shooting for the space was very, very impressive indeed. Uh, Tristan elected to shoot through, and it has worked. The Lich Guard are gone, failing out saves and uh, reanimation protocols there. It's just three Necron Warriors standing next to the relic. They're not, they haven't seized it, but they're within uh, range there to claim it. That's the shooting done. Uh, psychic phase as well uh, contributed to the damage on the Lich Guard. So we're going to go on to... The combats, the last of the scarabs against the blood claws and Ulrich, the bug slayer. Right, so combat's done there. Uh, the scarabs were finished off and then consolidated four inches of the blood claws. Uh, the relic now is contested. So, right towards the end of the game, the Necrons have had it. Uh, they've pulled the relic back, but uh, its persistence has paid off here. Uh, they're now contesting. Right, so we're going to roll up here to see if the game continues on a 3+. We'll go on to turn 6. Let Tristan roll. He's got a 1. The game is over. We're going to have to calculate victory points. The game stops at turn 5. So just looking at the table, uh, first blood went to the Space Wolves and then Slay the Warlord as well. And the Necrons, no victory points. The Relic is contested by both sides. So that is, it's only a small uh, scoreline, but 2-0 to the Space Wolves. They were persistent. They chased the Relic and it's paid off. It just shows you need to keep going in games of Warhammer 40,000, but it's victory here for the Space Wolves. Well done to Tristan. Uh, they're good units. Uh, burying characters in there, moving up the table. Uh, it's a good tactic. And it's worked here. Necron's beaten and uh, almost reduced to, well, nothing left. One uh, wounded spider and three Necron warriors is all that remains. Two strong squads remaining for the Space Wolves. A good game, enjoyable. It's a good clash. Necrons and Space Wolves, a good game. And uh, we look forward to playing it again. But today, uh, in this ruined city, the Space Wolves have 
uh, claimed victory. That's the game, good contest. Thanks for watching and tune in next time. So we were just discussing unit the game here. Uh, Tristan's saying blood claws, you know, the unit combination there of Ulrich the Slayer, large unit, uh, was able to absorb hits and then dish out a lot of attacks, dealt with all of those scarabs there. So uh, reliable unit, did well, and uh, really brought victory in the end for the Space Wars. As for Necrons, uh, Lich Guard did well, just a sort of a guard role they performed. I'm going to give it to the scarabs. Uh, big units bursting through 12 inches they can move so far and so fast bringing down the flyer and then bogging down different units uh, killing the long fangs as well and almost uh, bringing victory for the necrons but not quite enough <laughs>